Photoshop 2024, the July release, has added a number of new features. Really interesting new feature with type, bullets and numbering. You can see the bullets here. So A, B, C, or the numbering. There's a variety of different options you can use. I'm just gonna run through them. Also, there's some hidden ones that please stick around to find those out later in the video. Some great new features. So let's just remove this. Let's go right to the beginning, horizontal type tool. Click. Now, once you've got that, you'll notice the color is set to white. You can change all those sort of things later as well. To actually get the bullets or numbering, simply press the minus key on the keyboard. That's for the bullet points. Now, there are a number of other bullets as well, but they're obviously hidden characters that are a bit harder to get to. So minus is a great start point. And then space. It will disappear. Looks a bit odd. You think, oh, that's strange. What's happening? Well, now what you can do, you can type something. It reappears, that minus. Press return. And you'll get the minus again. Press return. And so on. You go all the way through and you'll see you've got this. Well, you might think, well, that's great but I don't want minus. Well, what you need to do, just go to the properties. So with that, just select all the ones you want to change. You can select them all, of course, select every single part. Then go to window and properties. So in the properties panel, you'll notice here you've got bullets and numbering. And notice at the moment it's set to this and this bulleted list, as well as the hyphen. Well, you can change it. Simply click here and you'll get that. Click there and you'll get that and click that, you'll get that. You can also, if you want, simply select say two of them and click the minus and you'll notice you've got obviously different bullets within the same list. You can also change other things as well. So you might decide, you know what? I don't want them to be white. I can change it to red. So click there and that's then red. And these others are white. Now, unfortunately, you can't change the color or the font of the bullet point, which is a pity. But still, you can select all of those. And now you can go up here and you can change the font. Select all those, maybe that one, or maybe go for this one and just change that to another one. And so on. You can see you can create a variety of different bulleted lists in different styles. But also what you can do is you can change this completely. So let's just select all those and just click here. So it's numbered list. So instead of obviously bullets, you get numbering. Now there's a number of other options you can see down here. You've got A, so you can click that, A and B, one, numerals, and also that as well. So there's a number of options. And also you can change those as well. So you can select those ones. You can go to these. And you can change those to A and B and C, etc. And the other ones can still remain as numerals. What you can also do, if you want to see these, what you need to do, just remove that. Go to the keyboard, again, use the horizontal type tool. Click the document and now type one and then full stop and then space. And it disappears. Then type something and you see it reappears again. Press return and then you'll get two and so on. Also you can do the same with A. So click here, go to the keyboard, press A, and again, full stop and space, disappears again, type something, it reappears, and then you can type something else and so on. You can see A, B, C, etc. At any point, of course, you can always select all of those and you can change it maybe to Roman numerals, something like that. Also what you can do is Click here, press the I key on the keyboard and full stop and space. Again, it disappears and you can type your characters and you see now it's in Roman numerals and you can continue to type. Now, there are a few hidden characters that you can use as well. And there's probably a few more. I haven't discovered them all. I'm certain there's a number. So click the document, hold down the shift key and go to the plus on the keyboard. Click the plus and then space. Again, it vanishes and you can type. And again, you see, oh, if you make, make a mistake and suddenly it disappears, it does happen. Press return again, type, press return and continue. And you can create obviously plus ones. Unfortunately, for some weird reason, 
doesn't seem to be in the list here. So if you go over there and change it, you won't get the plus back. Also, there's another one as well. So again, click there, go to the keyboard, hold down the shift key and press asterisk and then space and then type. And now you can see you've also got asterisk as your bullet list. And you can continue obviously with that as well. Again, unfortunately it's not on the list. Now you can change various things. If you want to remove them, say you decide, you know what, I don't want that. All you need to do is simply just go over here, and them all selected and just click here. And that will be removed. Now you notice the one at the bottom I didn't select. Again, click there to remove it. So you can remove them all in one quick go. Also, say you've created some type. You could have some type like this. Anything, of course. Simply select all of the type or the ones you want. So selected, simply go over here to the bullets and numbering and then just click here. And straight away, you've got your bullets or click here for your numbering. And again, you can go through all the different ones here. Now, unfortunately, there isn't seems to be a way of starting from four, five, six. Doesn't seem to be an option for that, but you can add in spaces. So press return like that and it will press the return again and it will split it apart and you will get now another started list. But it's still, of course, all part of the same type object. You can go to this one, again, press return, press return, go down here and type something else. And you'll notice it hasn't started with that. Of course, if you want that, simply, again, simply just go over here, make certain that either one of these is selected, you can select that one. And it's still part of the same type object. So you can continue, press return to get, again, another dash and so on. So there's a variety of different options and you can always recolor it, click there, recolor it. Maybe also, of course, you can add various things. You can always go to layers panel and modify it there, apply effects. Also go to layer and add layer styles to the type and all of these will get obviously those layer styles applied. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.